The peace of the Lord be with you, and good morning. This is our devotion for Tuesday, December 12th, and um, the epistle lesson for this week is a short epistle lesson. It's uh, it's only uh, only three verses. Uh, it's Romans chapter 16, verses 25 through 27. It's the, the conclusion of, uh, excuse me, Paul's letter to the to, to the church in Rome. And um, but as we hear it, I think we'll see how it's it's very pertinent to uh, to the readings that we have. So, uh, excuse me, I'll be getting this out in the morning. Uh, like I said, so we'll follow the morning order, page two ninety five in the hymnal. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will prepare, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right, uh, Romans chapter 16, verses 25 through 27. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but has now been disclosed, and through the prophetic writings has been made known to all nations, according to the command of the eternal God, to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God, be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ our more. Amen. Let us pray. Uh, blessed God, our Heavenly Father, you are able to strengthen all according to, to the gospel, to the preaching of uh, the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. You strengthen us according to that revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but was disclosed and through the prophetic writings of Scripture has been made known even now to us according to your eternal command that faith will be brought about in obedience. And we pray that you would bless us to be uh, those obedient in faith, that, that as you have loved us, we would show that love to you, that we would uh, show you the love that is revealed um, to us we would show you the love that you have revealed to us in, in, the, in, in the way that you have loved us through your Son, Jesus. And we pray that, um, that, that, we, would, that we would be those who, who not only love you, but love our neighbor and, um, and, and trust in you in all things, knowing that you work all things to our good, as you live and reign with the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, so... Um, now to him, so this is called a doxology, right? Where you give, we give glory to God, <clears throat> and um, so it's a, it's a it's a praise, it's a word of praise, and um, so so uh, so so he says now to him who is able to to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ. So uh, praying for the strength for the church in Rome uh, according to the gospel that 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 Paul. Uh, has been given to preach. Uh, that is the preaching of Jesus Christ of his of his birth. Of his life, his death, and his resurrection, right? Um, the, you know that this, uh, as Paul, <clears throat> as Paul writes his letter to Rome, to, to the church in Rome, he, he begins with this 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 great discussion of who of, of who Christ is that he is uh, <clears throat> that he is uh, born of the, of the flesh of of, of David, <clears throat> and he is um, declared to be the Son of God in the resurrection, right? So that he is is God and man. And, uh, and and here's that the preaching of that gospel that, that he's talked about how this God and man has entered into this this world to bear our sin and to be our savior that we would be saved freely by his grace as a gift through that is through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus right that's uh, Romans chapter three so um, so there's this <clears throat> strength that comes from that that um, that preaching of, of of the gospel right. Uh, the, the gospel which is given according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages. And that's, um, as we have that word there, that's the, the apocalypse, according to the apocalypse, right? And, and I mentioned that before, that we have the book of Revelation, <coughs> and, and that's, that's also known as the apocalypse. That, that's what that means, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages. You know, so there's this promise that, that Christ is going to come, and it's hidden, and it's hidden, but then, but then it's it's revealed, and it's revealed in, in Jesus Christ in in his, in his life, death, and resurrection, and then it, that's disclosed now to the prophetic writings, right? It's disclosed through the scriptures, and and, and we can understand this. Um, you know, Paul's writing. <coughs> excuse me. Paul's writing his letter here in in, in fifty five ish, right? So so he's he's. 
I think Paul knows he's writing scripture, right, as he's writing these letters. But, um, so, so he's maybe talking about that. But, but, but all the more, he knows that, that the Old Testament, as we call it, um, yeah, that, that this is... This is, this is all in there. And you look at all the, the, the preaching that happens in the book of Acts, and it's preaching out of the Old Testament. And, and so there's an understanding that the, as the note here says, Revelation of the mystery. The Old Testament didn't make all things clear. In the New Testament, the mystery is now revealed. God in Christ has united, uh, and, and so the, summarizing the book, God has united Jew and Gentile together in one body in the church. Um, but but the, the um, you know, that this is, but the, these prophetic writings are, are, are given and, and it's in there and, and then the preaching clarifies that right and and so it's it's made known to all nations um, and this, this is made known to all nations according to the command of the eternal God what we think of of Matthew uh, 28 16 through 20 what we often call the the, the Great Commission um, go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit and uh, and teaching them all that I have commanded you right so so make disciples of all nations, make this known to all nations. It's, it's being made known to all nations, right? It's uh, according to the command. So, and, and to what end? To bring about the obedience of faith. And we have to understand um, that, 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 that obedience uh, of faith is, is, um, is, you know, that's something that, that, um, I'm trying to trying to think how how to explain it. You know, this is the, well. We think about faith, right? And and what faith is. And faith is that reception of of God's gift. Uh, it's the it's the, the 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 trusting of His promise of eternal life, and 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 then the joy <clears throat> of that promise is is that we get to 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 enjoy the the presence of of Christ forever, right? And 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 the presence of God forever, and and then the the obedience of faith. As Jesus says in John, uh, this is the, the will the will of him who sent me that, that he would that, that we would believe in the one whom he sent right so so that's uh, and, and then and of course then you can think of obedience in the more law oriented sense with all of that <coughs> which is to say that you know that now we, we we live according to to the call to love which is what the Ten, Ten Commandments tell us to do so that there's all of that wrapped up in there right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So, then finally, to the only wise God be glory forevermore through Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's what we, that's what we finally we praise Him in the midst of all of that and saying to, to Him be glory, and, and 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 so thanks be to God. Right. All right. We continue with the <coughs> with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your, old, your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. <clears throat>